trough load that these things had. It's just a, it's a shame. Right, well, you're at what we call the Bear Hammock Grove, and uh, this grove had the misfortune of being right on the east eye wall of, uh, of Hurricane Irma. Uh, when I arrived at the property early Monday morning, the property most, for the most part was underwater. Uh, even the road coming into the property was, was littered with trees and power lines and other things. Very difficult to get to. In many cases, the water was a couple feet deep uh, with tens of thousands of pieces of fruit floating in it uh, along with everything else. The number of trees rolled over and split and damaged uh, was far beyond anything I could have imagined. And, and not only beyond the, the orange trees, but uh, the cypress trees, the oak hammocks, the pine trees were all impacted to a level I've never seen before. So majority of the crop is lost. We think 75% of it is, is lost, but we're still, still uh, losing fruit each day. And we've got a big, uh, a big job ahead of us. We've got to replace the 22,000 trees that, uh, that we think are damaged or, or are going to be removed. And uh, we've got to wait another whole 18 months before we generate any, any real revenue all over again. So it was, uh, I expected it to be bad. It was worse than I expected. And, uh, it's been one of the most difficult uh, events of my lifetime and uh, a long ways to go.